Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life's reviews and how to's, I've got an issue with the chickens. We're going to fix it today with something I got off Amazon I think you may need. What I have today is this automatic chicken watering kit from Beery Blue. It has pretty much everything I need to water my chickens. There's different types of nipples, all the fittings, uh, the waters. It even comes with the tools. Let's get inside and see what's all in the box, and then we'll see how to set it up. Opening up the box, first thing I see is these watering nipples right here. Now what these are, these are not the kind I'm going to use with the chickens. These are the kinds I can use with the rabbits. Um, they have this little valve right here. The, the rabbit flicks his little tongue on there, fills this little cup up, anything that spills. These work very, very good for rabbits. So I can actually set these up for the rabbits. Not going to do that today. It comes with, again, all the fittings, all the hardware you need to make that happen. What we are going to use are these cups right here for the chickens. Okay, you see uh, the water fills up, makes the valve go down. That stops the flow of, of water into the cup. You let go or you, they drink the, uh, the water. The cup goes up, starts to fill again. Very, very nice. So yes, Elvis, I know you want these and I'm gonna get them right to you. So we've got four of those in the box. We've also got this package of hardware, okay? What we got here is this is a fitting that goes on your um, jug. This, this on the water container seals it nice. Got all the fitting. You have all the fittings, elbows, brackets, again, more valves. Everything you need really to set up an automatic chicken watering system. If you were to buy all this yourself, it would be very, very expensive uh, individually. Even comes with the hole saws, okay? These are hole saws, two different size hole saws uh, to cut the holes in your bucket. All right, we've got the automatic chicken watering uh, valve, okay? What this happens is a little float inside here and it senses the level inside the, um, the bucket goes down and it will automatically turn the valve on and fill the bucket up. Automatic chicken watering system, no, no joke. We've got some Teflon tape to keep everything sealed, a lot more fittings. And then what we have also are the hoses. These are really, really nice hoses. Check these out. Have the little collars, looks like stainless steel tips, all the little fittings. Uh, oh, we also got, of course, instructions to get it done right. A lot of zip ties to zip tie everything to your fencing. I'm super excited to get all this installed. Let me go through the instructions. Yes, I'm going to read the instructions, get all my hardware and tools set up, and then we'll get to installing our new automatic chicken watering system. Check out this easy installation diagram. Uh, it gives you everything in pictures. You don't even really have to read anything. There's a couple hints and tricks right there. Here's your package list, everything that comes inside of it. Lots and lots of good pieces for as little as this costs. The half inch PVC you'll need and the uh, PVC primer and cement, good, that's not included. Uh, but what is included is your hole saws, 21 millimeter and 30 millimeter. And to use those, you'll probably need a handy drill. Does couple them, come with the Teflon tape for all the threaded fittings. You might want a crescent wrench or a channel locks to tighten those down. They do have these little collar things that come on the hoses. Those are pretty nice. I got some uh, snips here to cut the chicken wire. If you're going to be doing that, you may be uh, using the uh, brackets to go into wood. And then some, uh, uh, maybe a hacksaw to cut that PVC. You will need that. So everything else really comes in the kit. First thing I'm going to do is assemble my cups to my tees. Again, I'm just going to be using these cups for today. Um, there are threads, so I will put some Teflon tape on there, but I'm just going to tighten that on there like that. And then once I get all four of these set up, then I need to cut my PVC to get the appropriate length. Get some Teflon tape on these fittings. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit on each one of them. Let you see what I'm doing here. A little bit of Teflon tape around there, just like that. Now that I got the Teflon tape on there, I can thread these on. You don't need some uh, PVC cement for any of this uh, since you have the threads, but you do want it to be pretty, pretty firm, but not too firm that uh, you crack any of the PVC. Again, each T screws on there all the way around, just like that. Getting it level. Again, don't want to do it too tight. Come over here, let you see what I got going on here. Thread this on. Just like, ah, fell off there, there we go. And you see there are the little O-rings on there. They'll help keep that nice and sealed. 
There we are. I'm gonna do each one of these, say about uh, six inches apart. So uh, I need to cut the uh, PVC about four inches, four or five inches. That way each one will be separated just perfectly. You will need to cut a small piece and put a cap on the end too. Uh, that way the water don't all pour out. Get the first one cut here. Once I get this one cut, I cut all of them uh, basically the same length as this one to get everything spaced evenly apart. Now I need to cut that small one for the cap on the end. Again, this is just a piece to keep the flow from coming out. There we go. Before you put any of that cement on, you want to make sure you dry fit everything. Make sure I get everything lined up. Once I'm sure I got everything done properly, then of course we can uh, put the primer on. The primer is very, very important too. Uh, makes that PVC glue seal perfectly. I want to make sure that everything is level and lined up. And then uh, once you got you know everything like that, then you can glue that section together. Once you got your last cut and everything assembled the way you want it, um, you have to remember, don't glue the part that goes through the wall to here, otherwise you won't be able to get it done. This will be the last thing I glue. I'll mount this inside the coop, and then I'll, uh, of course, you know, have a hole in the, uh, the fencing of the coop, and then the valve portion will go right inside there. And of course, this goes up into the uh, tank, which will be elevated. Uh, you have an isolation valve here, which is really, really nice. Got all these little uh, fittings and adapters. So now we have to glue this section together, again, making sure everything is level. It doesn't take much, guys, of the primer and of the cement, okay? Just a little primer on both sides, a little cement on both sides. Push it in, give it that quarter turn, and then let it set, and it will be sealed nice and tight. Again, it doesn't take much, just a little primer around there. Now we're gonna do a little glue. Doesn't take much. Same thing on the cap here. Just a little primer inside the cap. A little glue inside the cap. Slide it on all the way, quarter turn, that one's sealed. Now I can pull out the uh, fitting there, do the same thing, a little primer, just a little glue, same thing on the fitting inside. You don't want to get too much. Okay, I'm going to push it in, quarter turn, and that is sealed. Continue on with the rest of the process. Again, I'm going to go ahead and take these apart so all my parts will be nice and ready. Again, leveling of the cups is the most important thing, leveling of the cups. So that's all the parts I'm going to be using on this go around. All right, so let's see. I need to purple stuff and uh, purple stuff a little bit of the blue stuff gotta get some little bit of blue stuff around there and inside there again not much doesn't really take much go in quarter turn there we go I'm, I'm gonna keep all the white up because I'm an OCD like that all right so now I'm gonna do purple and the blue all the way around. Some say you don't have to do it on uh, both pieces. I do. Um, I think that's what the instructions say. So I do what the instructions say. And if you say you ain't got to, well then don't do it. It's totally up to you. Totally up to you. All right, here's the key. So now I got these right here. I'm gonna put it in quarter turn up slide it all the way on and then level it out it is very very important that i get these level this is the key to keeping the leaks from from happening okay making sure that it is level i'll straighten these out later but making sure that is level and that is level so that's good so now let's move on to the next one purple and the blue 
purple. You got the purple. Don't put it on the inside. Don't have to. Don't, don't do nothing on the inside, does it? A <laughs> little bit of blue. A little bit too much blue. All right. I'm gonna stick it in all the way, holding on to this fitting. Quarter turn. All right. Move on down the line. And make sure you don't put them in upside down. That is not good. So purple, purple. I think y'all getting the figure out how I'm doing this, right? Y'all got this figured out? All right. I don't think I'm gonna have to. Okay, a quarter up, all the way in, and then I'm gonna hold on to this pipe. Ah, I got the stuff on my finger, and turn and level. It is again the most crucial thing is all of these are level purple all right on the outside got the blue on my finger it's gonna happen you're gonna get some blue on the finger okay it is part of the job okay so push it up all the way in. Again, I'm going to hold on to the piece I want to turn. Quarter turn. There we go. Quarter turn. All right, the last piece, or actually not the last piece, but the last cup. Let's get the last cup done. And you got a little time with this guy. It doesn't super, it doesn't dry that, that quickly. Let's see, make sure I got the right. There we go. Okay. And this end, that end, all right, again, got a quarter up, slide it all the way in, hold on to this piece, turn and level, all right, is it level? I got this stuff on my finger, I got this, this one's got to turn up just a little bit, all right, is it level? Man, that looks pretty darn level to me. All four of those level. Now I'll straighten all the cups out here at the end because they're not glued, okay? So the next piece I've got is this fitting. Again, on the inside there. Inside. This fitting. Outside. All right, this one's a little bit short. Slide it all the way in, quarter turn, there we go, all right. So now the last piece on this section is my elbow. My elbow's gonna go straight backward. That's the part's gonna go through the fence, okay? Through the fence, so right there. Again, leaving these pieces big enough, I can cut those and add another uh, adapter on later, separate them out if I want to do a different. So always leave yourself enough space you can cut the PVC. That way you don't have to buy new tees and all the new fittings. That's, that's very, very important. If you ever plan on uh, uh, changing things up in the future, I plan on doing rabbits with these, right? So with the rabbits, I will have to uh, modify this system and then uh, cut the straight runs okay this is gonna be pointed backwards go this way slide it in again slide it in now i've got to hold on to this piece and turn it level make sure everything's still level it is it is okay i gotta turn this one just a little bit oh i got a little bit too much on my finger there Okay, that's good. All right, how's that look? Last piece I got to glue is the part that goes up into the uh, the bucket. So I got this fitting here. Go ahead and take these all apart. I already have everything pre-cut, pre-done, pre, 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 pretty, 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 please. <laughs> all right. Again, I'm not going to assemble all this. The last glue will be when it goes through the uh, the housing there. So that goes there. And I need a little bit of blue. Drip, drip. All right. Definitely gonna get it on your fingers. You can wear latex gloves if you want. The it 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 kind of just peels off of your fingers a little bit. It's not that bad. Really isn't. 
push in. Qu quarter turn, there we go. Okay, do the same thing on this side. Purple. I think you've heard me say purple blue a few times now, haven't you? Just a few purple blue, just a few purple blue. All right, well, we got one more after this one. That should be the last gluing. It is a little bit messy and professional plumbers can do this without making any mess. Obviously, I'm not a professional plumber. <laughs> All right, so this is, you know, I'll just uh, set that down right there. Got this fitting. There we are. Purple. Blue. And this one doesn't, there is no really alignment issues on this one because it's all circle. There's no angles. Angle, no angles for the dangles. No angles for the dangles. So just push that in all the way. Get that quarter turn that seals everything. I'm gonna wipe all that excess off. There we go. And uh, that one's done. I'm gonna have these say about uh, six, eight inches from the ground. Don't want them too low, so they'll be kicking stuff up in them. So I'm gonna bring, the, bring it through about right, about right here, I think it'd be a good spot. So I just need to cut out enough of these to, uh, for that uh, fitting to go through. That should be enough right there. And not let too many uh, big critters come through. There we go. Let's see if that fits through the hole perfectly. Now for the fun part. I gotta put that right through the hole there. And then I gotta get a zip tie around. Once I get a zip tie around, this helps if you, if you got two people for this, make this a lot easier. Slide it through the loop and tighten it down. It's important you get this level also, but once you got the first one done, the rest of them are much easier. All right, get it through the hole. I got it through the same number up, which should make it level. Lift it up to the same height. Tighten it down. Of course, I can adjust the angle of it later. Get my shoulders inside here. I got these. Again, if you got two people, this is so much easier. But uh, I'll just push this through. That one through right there. Okay. Same thing with this one. Push it through. Make sure I got them all through the same ones. I do, I do. One more. Push it through. Ah, push it. Push it real good. Got them. Yay! <laughs> now if I can get out of here. Ugh. Got it. Zippy zippy. Now these zip ties aren't too strong, so don't pull on them too hard. They will break, I promise you. They will break. You can use some bigger ones. And of course it does come with clamps too, big metal clamps. If you get a board there, you can put a board on this backside and then screw the metal clamps in. I'm just going with the zip ties today. Zip ties. So now I just gotta clip off the little excess here. Snip, snap, snoop dog diggity while i've got it elevated why not just go ahead and make the last glued connection and then i'll be done with all this uh nasty nasty gluey stuff do inside there last of the purple little bit of blue little bit of blue goes a long way all right again i'm going to put it in slide it Hold on to it, slide it all the way in. There we go, now go quarter turn. And I believe I got it straight up and down. That looks good. While that's drying, go ahead and lift up, get the block out from under it, set it down. Uh, here we go. That looks good. I'm gonna use this block to uh, put the bucket on, have to have that gravity, that elevation. While our cement is setting, we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes with our hole saws, and the hole saws are provided. We got a 30 millimeter for the bottom and a 21 millimeter for the top. 21 millimeter is the small one for the uh, auto fill valve, and then the large one is for the uh, bulkhead connection for the uh, feed water. So, gotta get out the small one first. We'll do that one. And uh, we're gonna put that 
Again, one thing you have to remember, this nut, you got these collars on a lot of these buckets and these nuts, you gotta have it just below it. So make sure you uh, put it just below it. That way you can actually tighten it up and get a good seal. Centered up on the bucket. Put this collar right there. Get my hole saw right in the center of it. Start that. Once I've started it, move my move this out of the way. You don't want to mess up your nut there. So get that right back on where it was. And that's all that took. Verify that fits. Boom, fits like a glove. Now we'll move on over, get the uh, big old hole saw, that 30 millimeter. Get that foot put in there. And we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom fitting. Where's it at? Here it is. I'm gonna take off this uh, collar, put it far enough from the bottom, about right there, centered up with the uh, top piece and uh, get that going right there. Okay, once I got that marked, then I can get it to slide up. Boom, well, that one's done too. This one we go back to Teflon taping all of our threaded connections. And again, I go uh, counterclockwise. That way when you uh, tighten up your fitting, everything goes good. Now uh, there is one uh, on that bulkhead connection, that one's actually reverse thread. So I'll go clockwise when I put the Teflon tape on that one. That one's kind of weird. So, and uh, this one on the inside here really doesn't matter because it's just a, a, a downspout nozzle, but I'll put some on anyway. Um, there's a little screen. See this little screen right there? That screen goes, let's see here, the airflow, the water flow goes this way. A little screen that goes right in there. So now what I'm gonna do, Stick that right through the hole there. Get this uh, fitting on, or the nut. Once I got that nut, then I'm just gonna tighten, tighten, tighten. Again, I didn't leave much room here, but I wanted to get it as high as I could on the bucket. Again, get it tight. I'm gonna get out of the sunlight there for you. Get it tight all the way down. Nice and tight. Make sure the screen is in there. Now this is the um, the hose, the longer hose that has the uh, standard hose fitting, standard US hose fitting. So now I'm gonna get this stainless steel put right on there. Again, I've got Teflon tape on there. I got a crescent wrench, adjustable wrench. Do not want to tighten do not want to tighten too tight with these plastic fittings. You will break them. They will seal just fine. Don't worry about that. Now for our last fitting, a little Teflon tape. Again, this one's reverse threaded. So I'm taking the Teflon tape the older direction. Doesn't take too much. Get that on there. So now um, there's a rubber, little silicone gasket right there. There's one here also. That goes on the inside and outside. So push this all the way through. Slide the one on the inside, and then I can do that reverse threaded nut. Get it turned, all right, get it, okay. Now I'll turn it this way to tighten. It's so weird going lefty tighty. <laughs> Again, not too tight to deform the uh, uh, O-rings, but uh, guys, almost ready to test this. Got our bucket set up on a block here. We'll connect the water to it in a second, but first I got to put some Teflon tape on this fitting right here. Again, not too much. And then now I got to connect this to there. And get it set up. These things come with the, these little collars here that help you uh, tighten down without a wrench your fittings. That's very, very nice. There we go. Got my water hose fitting. Just tighten that on there. Now for the moment of the truth, let me turn the water on. All right, we can see it filling up. It's almost to the bottom of the sensor. Now I do not have the hose turned on up all the way. That's why it's filling slowly there. I wanted to be able to watch it and see where, where it actually turns off at. I think, it, I think it comes up a little bit higher on the sensor there. 
there it goes. It stopped. All right. Now, what my test is going to be is I'm going to open this valve, open this valve right here, start filling up the cups. Cups start filling up there. I don't know if you can see the cups filling up, but they are filling up. And as soon as those get full, oh, I hear, I hear, I hear this coming on again. There it goes. Yep, it just squirted just a little bit to fill it up. That, that was pretty cool. Let's go inside and see if we can see what the cups are doing. You can see that they are all completely full. None of them's overfilling, none of them's pouring out. That is a good, good sign. Now that we got everything set up, it's time to introduce our chickens to their new water. Elvis, you ready to try it? Oh, Elvis and his ladies sure like their new water, and I think you might like it too. I did have one issue with it, one fitting was missing. It was the uh, hose to uh, PVC adapter. I did have to go up to uh, Ace and uh, pick one of those up for 99 cents, not a big issue. Uh, other than that though, I haven't had really had any issues. I had to tighten up a few things where I had some leaks, but uh, they're doing it. So Beery Blue, appreciate you giving me this new uh, watering system. I did not, I'm not a paid sponsor. They did not pay me. Uh, but if you want to get one, I'll leave a link down in the description and uh, be sure to subscribe to Ridge Life's Reviews and How To's to make sure you don't miss any more videos. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.